What's up casual collab? It's Jamie, your Mondays on this channel. Now before I get into this week's video, I just wanted to point out that you guys might have noticed we haven't been posting every day. That is because unfortunately we lost a few members and we are now holding auditions and if you didn't see that, I'll post the link below to the video where Maggie talked about auditions for the collab channel. So if you would like to audition, please, please audition. We would love to see your auditions. We would love to have you join the channel. And we would love to be posting every single day. Now, let's get on to the video. So this week's theme is Confessions Week. I thought I would do Confessions of a College Student since I am going to be going into my sophomore year of college this fall. Now, I sat down and tried for such a long time to think of like confessions, but it was really hard for me, so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about my college experience my freshman year. Right now, I go to a community college, and it's actually like 10 minutes away from my house, so I don't even live on campus. So I don't get the like living on campus part of going to college, which I really wish I did because it seems like so much fun. But next year, I'll be transferring into a college that I will be living on campus, and I am really excited to start my journey. College is a lot of fun, um, but it's also really challenging, especially when you work, because when you're a college student, hello, you have to work. I mean, college is so expensive. You have to buy books, you have to buy supplies, you have to pay for the classes, um, you have to pay for tuition. College is actually really hard trying to balance between schoolwork and work, because I work in a daycare, so I work pretty much all day, and then I go to school at night, so it's hard definitely to go to work during the day and then go to school at night and still have time for homework. So you always want to make sure that you're doing your homework. First semester I failed math class actually because I skipped going to it a lot because I didn't like it. Um, and like one of the best things about college is that if you don't want to go to class, you don't have to go to class. You don't have to like have your parents call out for you. You can just skip class if you want to and you don't get in trouble. You get in trouble, but I mean, you do kind of fail the class if you skip too many classes, which is what I did. So um, I would just say for anyone going into college, don't skip too many classes. Another thing about college that I would suggest is when you're picking your classes, make sure that you check out the professors before you pick the classes. This website called Rate My Professor, and I'll put the link down below. You can check it out. And basically, you just type in the professor's name, and most of the time, it'll come up with a review. If it's a good review, then I would say, yes, go for it, sign up for the teacher. If it's a bad review, I would say, eh, maybe not sign up for that class. I mean, if you have to sign up for that class, then definitely do it. But if you don't have to, and there are other professors out there, definitely check for the professors that get good reviews on Rate My Professor, because usually they're pretty good. So another thing about your professors is that if you start a class and you're like, you've only had like one or two classes with the professor and you realize that this professor really isn't for you, that you guys just don't get along well or that you just don't mesh well with the professor, definitely change classes as soon as you can. Change professors, trust me, it makes life so much easier. Last semester when I had psychology, I didn't really blend well with my professor. She wasn't my learning style, so I ended up changing professors and I actually took an online class, which I really liked. Also, I would say if you have the opportunity to take online classes, I would definitely try them out. They're so much fun. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky because you don't actually have a professor like sitting right in front of you, but there are professors who run the class, so if you ever need them, just message them, like email them, ask them if you can Skype, ask them if you can meet them at school, because most of the time they'll be so willing to help out, help you in any way that you need, and it's really great because um, most of the time in online classes you can work at your own pace rather than working at the pace of the professor and the professor is always there to help you with, with whatever you need it. Alright, this video kind of made no sense at all. I am so tired. I'm dying of heat right now. I had to turn the air conditioner and my fan off because you wouldn't have been able to hear me talk at all. So I am so sorry. I'm so tired. This video was not very good. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below, and if you want to audition, make sure you audition, and let us know that you audition so you can watch your videos. Um, also, subscribe to my main channel and follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys next week with another new video. Bye!